Hello and welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nikshan. Today we are going to learn how you can integrate PowerShell with UiPath automation. I already did few videos on the PowerShell automation and I have uh, done few videos uh, regarding the integration of Java and Python with UiPath using the Python and Java packages. Right. So same like that how we can integrate this PowerShell scripts with the UiPath automation. So before going to that, let me tell you what is a PowerShell. It's a cross-platform task automation solution, okay, which is built by uh, Microsoft. So uh, which is having a command line uh, shell as well as a scripting language and a configuration management framework. Okay, so because of that, it is compatible with uh, different OS like uh, we can integrate that with uh, Windows, Linux, or even in the Mac OS also we can execute these PowerShell scripts. Okay, so uh, let's move on. So this is uh, the Windows uh, uh, PowerShell console and uh, let me minimize it and let me go to our UiPath studio. Okay, so here I already created one project called PowerShell and uh, in this project we are going to use this particular activity that is invoke PowerShell and we are going to learn more about this invoke PowerShell activity to integrate the PowerShell scripts in the UiPath automation. Okay, so let me drag and drop this. So what are the properties which are available here? First one is command test. Okay, so command test is nothing but like this PowerShell is actually uh, helpful for the uh, administrators to do the um, administrative tasks. Okay, for that they will be executing some commands in the PowerShell and they will be performing uh, their task. Okay, so if you want to uh, do some uh, uh, or if you want to execute some commands in uh, a PowerShell, you can use this command test okay so for example just consider in your machine you have different process which is running okay and you want to uh, find out all the process that is executing or running in your machine what you can do you can use a command called get hyphen process okay then it will give you all the uh, process that is executing in your machine okay get hyphen process okay that's it and it, it is telling you like what are the process that is running in your machine okay so that is one command so that command you can provide here and you can execute and it will uh, give you the list of uh, uh, process that is running in your machine and input is nothing but it will be helpful like let me hover on this a collection of ps objects that are passed to the writer of the pipeline used to execute the command can be the output of another invoke PowerShell activity. So just consider you have multiple invoke PowerShell. Okay, uh, from this first invoke PowerShell, you are getting one output. Okay, which is a uh, PowerShell object, and you want to pass the PowerShell object to the next uh, invoke PowerShell activity. Then you can use this uh, input uh, field. Okay, and what is parameter? So uh, just consider like you need to pass some um, uh, parameter to the comments that you're going to execute okay for example okay so here for example um, okay uh, the get process and what is the process name these are the different process name suppose if i want to get only the process which is starting with the c okay how i can write the comment for that get hyphen process hyphen process name let me put it like c starting with c okay then it will give you the list of uh, process which has started with a uh, c okay so uh, if you want to pass some parameters like this okay you need to create a parameter list and you need to pass it to your uh, process okay so for that we can use this parameter so e script is nothing but instead of this command you want to execute some script partial script okay which is having multiple lines what you can do either you can create a string variable and you can pass that to command test and you can enable this e script and you can execute it or another approach is you can directly write it to a text file then you can read the text file and that variable you can pass it over here okay that is uh, two method that you can use here and PowerShell variable is nothing but like if you want to uh, pass some value to that script and if you want to get some value from that PowerShell 
you can um, declare the uh, variables partial variables okay and type argument is nothing but it belongs to the output okay so based on uh, the command that you're going to give it will um, provide a uh, argument type okay so that argument type we need to set over here over here okay and this is the output variable uh, which you are getting as an output of the powerful partial execution okay so let me do one thing mm. let me use okay let me go here get hyphen service okay so it is giving this many uh, list of services that is running in my machine so get hyphen service okay it will give you the entire list of uh, services that is running in your machine right and for uh, example same like what we did for process if i just want to get the uh, services which is starting with uh, mm, is there then what about uh, you okay so starting with v i want to get okay how i can uh, give get hyphen service hyphen name c star right then i will get all the uh, uh, services which is running with the uh, c starting with the c okay so here what i'm going to do is get service okay here we have given the comment test so how i can pass this parameter that is name how i can pass for that we need to declare this parameter click on this what is the parameter name that is name and what is the value that i need to pass that is mm, c star okay so initially i thought like okay i can take the, all the services starting with the uh, v then uh, okay anyway we can give some variable and it will list down all the mm, services that is running with that particular uh, starting with that particular uh, alphabet okay so that's it and what is the output so let me create an output out that okay and i'm not changing the type argument okay so let me save it let me try to execute okay so if you try to execute it is throwing an exception okay so it is telling like unable to cast object of type um, system dot service process dot service controller to type uh, system dot management dot automation dot ps object okay so what is the type here so system dot service process dot service controller okay so here the type is a system dot management dot automation dot ps object that one we need to change to system dot service process dot what is that service controller right service service controller okay that's it and uh, let me recreate this variable okay, let me delete this and uh, let me recreate the variable again okay now it is of type a collection of a service controller now it's looked good let me execute this okay it is uh, uh, not throwing any error so if you want to print all the services that is running what you can do let me use a for each activity for each activity item in what is a variable out variable and uh, here i need to print the output all right message box item okay that's it and for this for each initially i'm not changing the type argument and let me try to execute it's already system dot service 
process the service controller okay it automatically take on the service controller so it will work fine mm, okay let me execute this oh okay uh, got it so let me stop this execution okay so what we need to do is let me put a dot here let me click on control space and it is showing all the uh, methods that is available okay so which one i need to use okay let me print the service name okay let me print the service name click on save so it will list down all the uh, services that is uh, starting with the c Mm, okay, I think there is a mistake over here. Let me go back. Hyphen service. Okay, okay, the collection got removed. Let me create it again. Name. Then it should start with the C, right? So C star. Okay. Save it. Execute again. Okay, so now it is providing the services starting with the C. So the first entry is a CAM SVC, CAM SVC. Okay, that is the one which we get it in Windows uh, PowerShell console as well. Click on OK. What is the next thing? Capture service uh, underscore. That is a capture service underscore. Okay, so it is listing down all the services uh, that is starting with the C. Okay, so this is how you can uh, pass the parameter and uh, how you can execute the uh, PowerShell commands. Okay, so I hope you got a uh, clear understanding about uh, these two things. And let me go to uh, the script execution in PowerShell. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, let me use invoke PowerShell. Okay. Okay, here dollar result equal to dollar number one into dollar number two okay so here i am just trying to multiply uh, mul uh, do the multiplication for uh, two numbers okay but here number one and number two is not declared right so let me do one thing let me do it for two numbers uh, 7 and 5 it should give the result as 35 right yes the result is greater as 35 so I am going to use this same expression uh, in our uh, invoke PowerShell activity so this is not a comment right so this is not a comment so this is one uh, script PowerShell script <coughs> so what I am going to do is Either we can create it as uh, a, a string like using double quotes, or uh, okay, let me create as a oh, string dollar result equal to dollar number one into dollar number <coughs> two, okay. So, uh, as I mentioned, as this is a script, we need to enable this particular one, e script. Okay. And here we need to declare the variable. So, what is the first variable? This is number one. Type should be uh, integer because we are going to do the multiplication. Direction is int. And uh, the value I am putting like. Okay, so second variable is number two. Type is integer. Third one should be result. Okay, so this dollar is not required. Okay, the direction should be out and uh, 
okay let me create two variables okay one is result out it should be an integer and uh, this is num1 <coughs> this is again an integer this is num2 this is again an integer let me disable this one as well <coughs> okay and i need to pass these variables to the partial variable expression right so here number one here number two and here the uh, result out <coughs> type should be integer okay that's it what is the error okay okay so that's it and we need to get the value for number one and number two right so let me use input input dialog enter the first number input label multiple okay input type is a text box and uh, value ender should go to num1 okay that's it let me copy paste it again enter the second number <coughs> Okay, so let me try to execute this. Number four, second number five. Okay, so it is not throwing an error. So let me add the message box. Okay, so here it should be result out okay so let me try to execute this uh, so in box PowerShell we have given uh, dollar result equal to dollar number one uh, into dollar number two right so whatever the number that you are getting uh, in the input dialog that we are passing to uh, this particular script and we are getting the multiplication so how we are getting uh, or how we are passing that PowerShell variable we have declared the variables these are the partial variable and we are passing the values over here so let me do one thing it's num1 it's num2 okay save it let me try to execute i'm entering 4 5 okay so the result is a 20 Okay, so this is how uh, you can uh, write your expressions or uh, the PowerShell script and how you can pass that to invoke PowerShell activity and how you can create the PowerShell variables to pass to the PowerShell script. Okay, and I hope you got a clear understanding about this type argument as well. And uh, in the, uh, as a next video, I will be telling you like how you can pass the PowerShell objects from one invoke PowerShell to an another one okay so this topic alone we are not covering in this video that i'll be doing as yes, another topic okay so i hope you got a clear understanding about the usage of invoke powershell activity and how you can uh, integrate powershell with uh, uipath for doing the automation okay okay so that's it so if you find this video useful please like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe our channel so thanks for watching the video bye